Tonight, the Easley Police Department will use more than $200,000 in grant money to aggressively enforce and prosecute DUI cases, an issue the department says is becoming more and more important. 7 News' Asia Wilson has the story. The Easley Police Department says DUI cases are climbing every year in this city. Just this year alone, I'm told they've seen more than usual. That's why they're trying to put a stop to it right now. No one ever expects to lose a child. Losing my son has really devastated myself and my other children. Six years later, this upstate mom still feels the pain after losing her 17-year-old son, Brendan Stites, in a car crash. So it's been very, very hard to accept that he's not long, he's no longer with us. Her son was a passenger in a car with a drunk driver when he was killed. <laughs> stories like this that has the Easley Police Department working to crack down on drunk drivers with a more than $130,000 grant. It's called Impaired Driving Countermeasures. That grant um, gives us a vehicle for the officer to drive. It gives us the officer's salary. It also gives us any other equipment needed for that officer. Uh, to go out here and find the impaired drivers. In 2020, the department saw 110 DUI cases, but since January of this year, they have seen 143. He'll do increased traffic stops uh, for fair to maintain lane, people driving left to center, um, people at a high rates of speed. In addition, the department has also received a $97,000 prosecutor's grant that will allow them to hire an attorney who will primarily focus on prosecuting DUI cases so they don't have a backlog in their system. That's something mothers against drunk drivers advocates see all the time. I actually just stood with a family that their case was four years ago. So that backlog has had a very, very, very big impact on their family. The police department says the goal is to not only make the road safer, but to stop all deadly crashes that leave a lasting impact on families' lives. What they're doing in Easley, this for the officer who could possibly pull someone off the roads before they take a life, that's huge. The Easley Police Department says city council has already approved for the grants, which means they can move forward with hiring for the new positions. In Easley, Asia Wilson, 7 News. The police department was awarded the grants by the state for the DUI position. They say they'll hire internally to fill that role. For the DUI prosecutor, they say they'll hire a contract employee. Of the 